as I said, I'm Jess. I am from the Between You and Me podcast in Australia. Oh, yeah. It is Wonderful. delightful to chat with you. Thank you very now, much. Now, you are, I mean, your run sheet is just amazing. You've, you've won the most Dove Awards, I believe. Yes, that's um, what they and tell And you're, you're nominated <laughs> producer tonight. Yes, yeah. Which I love which is for very different fun. bands. Yeah, yeah. What does it mean to be, to be nominated for your artistry for another artist? Well, particularly in this case, Kane uh, are kind of like my kids. I feel like they're, they're, uh, we're very connected. Logan, Kane, the, the brother of the, the two girls and, and two sisters and a brother. Logan is our daughter's coach. Our daughter's a cheerleader. Logan was a cheerleader, co-ed cheerleader in college. Very talented, gifted. He is our daughter's um, coach, stunting coach. Our daughter is now a college cheerleader. So it was kind of his help that got her to that point. So to see them do great musically, I mean, I've, I feel like he's, again, I feel like they're kind of my kids yeah. or at least my nieces and nephews or something. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been so proud of them and so excited um, just for their career. So to get to yeah. be kind of a little part of their story is very special. Yeah. You've just released an album, which is very exciting. When you're, make, when you're coming up with the concept of a new album, how do you come up with a new point of view, a new reference, yeah. knowing that you've created so many beautiful records? Well, this particular uh, collection, and I'm glad you still call them albums. I do too, even though most people, a lot of people nowadays go, what's an album? We don't <laughs> even know what that is. So um, we just stream songs, you know, but I love an album. I love thematically kind of creating a, a collection of songs that all allow you kind of like a book you know you can't just read chapter 14 and feel like you read the book you need the whole chapter 1 through 30 and 14 may be a really important chapter but um, that's what albums are for me and honestly these last three or four years um, you know the the pandemic has affected us globally in a way that nothing I've ever experienced has really it's weird as much as it isolated us and separated us and divided us, which the divisions are worse than ever now, and politically and racially, even in the church. But it also brought us together in a way that we've never been brought together to realize we, you know, we were all suffering together globally. We were all fearful together. We were all wondering what's this, what, what's going to happen. I hope that we can remember that and not just get on with life and kind of forget that it, how it brought us together. And that's really a lot of this music was written from that. All of this music was written from that. For me, songs have always been kind of my journals, the way that I process life and and hard and good and beauty and pain. And so that's really what this, this new album is about, me just trying to process all of that in a way that will encourage other people. My last question for you, your, it feels like your entire family are also musicians. Yes. Paved <laughs> in their own way, doing their own thing. Yep. What does it mean for you and your wife to create a legacy for your kids and your grandkids? Well, um, it's when I look around here, it's kind of funny. I feel in a way like I've even said this. I'm either Uncle Steve or Papa Steve to a lot of these artists, you know, um, that, that would say we grew up listening to music, we've heard your music. And to think, you know, in our own family, I mean, it, it really is. Family is so important to, to us, to Mary Beth and me. And... If we can have a relationship with our kids, and we're all going to leave some kind of a legacy for our kids, if we're, if we're parents at all, we're either going to leave a legacy of, you know, we were, we were really busy, we were really successful, or we were, we were really engaged, or we were really not engaged. I mean, we're leaving some kind of legacy, good, bad, or ugly. And to know that we have a relationship with our kids, yes, we're excited that whether they're succeeding in music or our one daughter's a cheerleader, whatever, you know, they're doing um, just that legacy. I hope and pray more than anything is a legacy, first of all, of faith and a legacy of just relationship. The fact that we're that we're still best friends, that we love being together, that we love just just being together. That's that's our hope and our prayer. And thankfully, that looks like that's the case because my son's playing drums with me tonight, actually, oh, on stage. Caleb? Yeah, Will Franklin. No, Caleb is the lead singer for the oh, band Colony House and Will is the drummer. Will married to Jillian? Yes. Yeah, I know Jillian. As a, uh, she's been on my podcast, so oh, there we yeah. go. Yeah, so, so yes, so you she's know wonderful. all about her. She is amazing. She's the best. I love we her. love her so yeah. much. I'll let you go, yeah. but thank you so much. Thank you. Thank God you. Bless Enjoy you. tonight. Thank you. Thank you.